What do you do when you've got a day off from training? For me, it's usually housework and I'm still gonna do some this afternoon anyhow. But normally I do something with my dogs, something a little bit different, something that, you know, is not that structured training um, way of doing things that we do 90% of the time. So what I'm gonna do today is a little bit of casting. Now, behind me here is, if you can see, there is my sheep, my training sheep. There's about 70 of them sitting there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow three of my dogs to cast. The paddock is a little bit rough and it's got a high, the grass is high. So it's a little bit harder for them to see it. On the training paddock, they can see it. Also the sheep are, are quite, they're separated. Now, am I setting them up to fail? No, I'm setting them up to think, to just think. You know, sometimes you've got to challenge your dogs and this is going to be a bit of a challenge, especially for a runner who's a bit of a dumb bum, you know. He's not a big thinker. He just, when, he's, when it's nice and structured like we do down on the training ground there where he can see the, see the sheep and if they're split or anything like that, he can still see them before he leaves. He's very good. But take him out of his comfort zone and a runner just takes forever <laughs> to learn something. Now, I'm betting that he's gonna leave some of these sheep. And if he does, what I do is I'm gonna stop him and then I'm gonna send him again to have a look for him. So in a way, he does learn something. But the trouble with Irana, it takes him about 10 times doing this before it sinks in. But that's okay, he's got plenty of other good points. Um, the other dogs I may give a go to will be, uh, I say Luna and Coda. They're, they're both at that stage. And then what I do after that, that's all they get. They just get a cast. So they just get something a bit of fun. They're not stuck in the kennels all day. And then I'm gonna go down and do a little bit of dry training, maybe a little bit of in the race training and getting them running backwards or something like that. And that is your day off from training because just do something that's a little bit different and a little bit stressless. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be, but with Arana, anything's possible. Okay, let's go get him. Over. Break out. Right out. Well, let's see how he goes. He's breaking out okay. Ooh, I've got to get under a fence here. Oh my gosh. He's still breaking out okay. Oh, things look good. Look, look, look at this. Now he's gone out of scene. He's out there somewhere. Look, he's coming around now. Oh, listen to my dogs. It's only because we're so close to the kennels. There he comes. There's the sheep. Now I'm going to have to whistle in a minute. Oh, I don't. He stopped. He hasn't stopped, has he? And he stopped. How about that for a miracle? That is a miracle. That is nice. That's what I've been looking for is that stop mainly and that he kicks out. That is really nice. Steady now, mate. Steady. Daddy now, good boy. Just take your time, mate. Good boy, nice, nice. Well, that's how you enjoy a day off. Not too bad at all. The sheep, by the time we got here, got all together, which is a bit of a shame, but not to worry. It doesn't matter. Sometimes they're, you know, they can hear you come, so you just have to take that. Beautiful, beautiful work, mate. Bit of a swinging dog, this dog. You've got to work a little bit with him. Nice work, mate, nice. Steady. And the sheep arrived not for any worse for wear. They're enjoying themselves, eh, aren't you? Having a good day off, you? Yeah? Okay, nice work, mate. I'm afraid, but that's it. That's your day. Now, for this one, I'm going to step out a little bit his side, hoping that he will kick out. Over and break out. Well, she did kick out 90 degrees. That's probably the best I've ever seen this dog kick out. Man, I'm in shock. I've never casted this dog in this paddock before. Oh, she's come in there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Break out. Break out and over. Oh, she's decided to come. No. Right over. Get over. Get over. Good girl. Get over. Right over. Right over. Right over. 
Right over, right over. Now you can see I've had to kick her right out there, get her back on the back of those sheep, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm happy with that, she kicked out. She cut a little bit short there. Must have thought that that was the angle she needed to be at, but she needed to take that. Look at that. Ooh. Man. Hey, hey. I've got, a, I've got a bit of a howler in the background. There's my kennels there. Man, he doesn't mind a howl, but he's missing out, I guess. He's not ready for this. Well done. Jeez, this little girl has shocked me. And um, that's the beauty about having a day off and just doing something different. She's never casted in a paddock before. In Well, it's hardly a paddock. It's just a little training place here. We don't train. It's just a place where I keep trainers. And um, But I don't use it because it's incredibly rocky and it's up and down. And it's a bit dangerous for, for dogs. And it's hard. It's hard. I can't get there to help them. Um, so, you know, they've got to do the job right. So, yeah, this is good. This is what you do on a day off. Well done, Coda. Man, gold star. Gold star, yes. I'm going to give Coda a second run. I'm going to stand up here on this lovely rock. Stop there. Stop there. Wait. 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 Over. I'm hoping. Oh, she kicks out beautiful, but she just stopped that little bit short. So let's see if we can get something better. Right over, girl. Right over. Right over, right over. A little bit tight, very tight, but she went over this time. Good, good. That's an improvement there. She's there. That's an improvement, but real tight. I would have expected her to drop a lot deeper than that. But an you take your improvements in this, sort of, in this sort of situation. I'm happy with that. Next time, I see how I set myself up on the side. That was to get that kick out. Next time I'm gonna set myself a little bit closer to make sure I can kick her out in the depth part. I'm just gonna set these sheep up now for Luna. Okay, matey. Just waiting for the, um, just waiting for my darling girl to set them up. Sorry about if the filming is not um, spot on and I haven't got a film crew here. And I just wanted to just, look, it's better to see things as it is, as it goes. And a lot of, a lot of you out there do not have the perfect situation either do I good girl she's just bringing him in here around this tree I think that'll be a nice cast for Luna and that's why I'm just using a selfie stick yay old lady with selfie sticks see what we can do okay next dog okay our next one is uh, Luna hello Luna Luna's a real sticky caster she's not um she's not as free but I'm just going to move her a little bit back here wait a minute she's looking back because <laughs> She thinks I'm telling her to look. Stop there. Stop there. Stop. Wait. 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 She's the eldest of the lot. She's just over two. This is a really young group of dogs that I didn't start training until they're about nine months old. And so I do expect. Stop there. Over. And break out. Break out, mate. Right out. Right out. Right out. Right out. Now she knows where those sheep are. But she's. Oh, jeez didn't know where that rock was I tell you but she's still chosen to break out quite wide now can you see that she's sticking there over right over right over right over when they stick, keep them moving right over over quick push 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 over over Luna Luna over you go right over good right over and you can see with these sticky dogs you can see how she's not lifting this these really well um, in fact, she's not lifting them at all, uh, which is something you've got to really work at is keeping them moving. She's got to keep moving. So this is where I tend to, you know, get her moving over. In fact, I can't even see her. So the grass is a bit long here. Get over, right over. There she is. See how she has not headed them properly. She has stopped really, really short, which, you know, is, is one of the biggest problems I have with this dog. So even though I casted her to the back side of them, she still, she still casted short. So that's something that we, we have been working on constantly and we need to work on a lot more. And also the fact that like, look, the sheep are not moving. So you can, what I'm showing you is problems that you probably have. So see how she's still at the back end of those sheep there. You can see her there. Get over, get over, over, get over, right over. So the thing is, is get down there and get her moving. Don't let her stick.
Okay, I'm gonna just try and see if I can fling this dog a little bit to get it. Come on, come on, good girl, good girl. Run back, over, over, over. Get over, break out, break out, break out. Right over, right over, right over, right over. Oh, that's a little bit better. It was tight, but see where she ended up? I just flung her out a bit and um, it was a tight cast. It wasn't a great cast, but she didn't stick. That's basically what I'm after. So what I did then is I just basically run backwards with her and I, I slinged her out just so that she kept going. The mo momentum was there. So that was a little bit better. We've got to build on this. This is a, we need a lot more work, eh, hey, Luna? We'll get there. Okay, this is step one in teaching a dog to run backwards. And it's quite handy on a trial ring. And this is the sort of thing I do on my day off instead of doing housework, it's so much better. Now this is our little race that my husband built. It is really squashy and somehow you've got to walk up and down this race. So this is what I have to do, go up and down this race like this. Sometimes I can get a little bit like this, but hey, oops, excuse me, I'm coming through now. But do you think he's trying to tell me something that I need a diet or something? But anyhow, it's really handy and I'm not criticizing it because hey, we've got a race. So the first thing you need is a dog and you need a long lead. You can use a, um, you can use a rake if you like, if they're really, if they won't come off you. So if you want to grab a rake, let's start. So first off, you've got to get in the race. You've got your long lead and you start walking to the back of the race like this. <sighs> Squashing through there, very nice. Just walk, just walk. That's all you have to do. And it's also good for teaching your dog to walk up. So I usually say, walk up, walk up. Now at this stage, you want him to walk back. You don't want him to turn, he's got to walk back. So use your command that you use, that you want. It's either get off, keep off, out, whatever. So for me, it's get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, stop, stop. Walk up, walk up. Walk up, walk up, and reward. Good boy, good boy. Okay, now I'm gonna use a whistle for me stop this time. Oh, get it in your mouth. Right. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Get out, get out, get out. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Don't do a hell of a lot of it. This is stage one. Now you can see his, his tail's wagging. He's happy doing this. In fact, he's very relaxed. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Stop, walk up, walk up. If he doesn't come up, just a little tug. Just a little breath. Oh, good boy, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Stop, get out, get out, get out. And stop there. That's probably enough for a day. And after they finish this, there's a second step along a fence and then finally out in the paddy. But right now, these dogs need a lot more of this. Let's get the second one. Well, this dog hasn't done this before. So we probably we're, won't get as good a result, but it's good because you'll see first time. So I'm just gonna try and stop her halfway. Get out, get out, get out, stop. Walk up. Good girl, stop. Get out, get out, get out, stop. Holy gee, she is good. Walk up, stop there. Get out, get out, get out, stop there. See how just the body pressure is working. You don't need, some dogs you'll, you have to use a rake and just push, or even your hat's good. Just use your hat. But this dog really responds to body pressure. Why the, the lead? In this squinny, skinny little race, you won't need it, but you'll need it outside there, so it's better off to get them used to it. All it does is guide their head. I don't have to do it in this skinny race, but you may have a big race. So use this, and it just guides their head. It keeps them straight. It stops them turning around. Walk up, nice, and stop. Get out, get out, get out. Stop, walk up, good girl. Stop, out, 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 stop. Walk up, out, 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 walk up, walk up, good girl. Now that is probably enough for her first go. And she did exactly.
exceptionally well, didn't you? Out, 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 out. And it's a good way to get him out of the race quickly. Now, this dog, this is why I said he's not, he's not tied up. See, I've let him go, but he still thinks he's tied up. God love him, he is a little bit slow. Arana, Arana, are you ready? Come on, Arana, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go, you're right. No, you're right, let's go. Arana, here, let's go, quick, come on. Yay! 